Well, we're learning more about a program at Bluffton University that is now becoming a master's degree program. Also with me today, we have Deb Meyer. She's director of dietetics at Bluffton University. We're going to talk about nutritionists and dietetics. So thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. Okay, so we were just talking this area of nutrition and dietetics. It's really important and it's big right now, isn't it? Oh, yes. It's growing. Well, I can't keep up with the demand as far as uh, for nursing homes, for hospitals, for uh, doctors, endocrinologists, they want their registered dietitians. Mm -hmm. And you guys have, uh, at Bluffton have had this program for a while, right? That's but right. changes need to be made. Let's talk about that. We have had actually a, a bachelor's program since 1986. Mm -hmm. and But the bachelor's program, after that, you had to do an internship, usually at a hospital or university medical center. Well, starting in January of 24, now you need to have a master's degree in order to sit for the registered dietitian examination. So dietitians, a lot of people don't realize it, but they are registered and they have to be licensed as well in the state of Ohio. And especially if they intend to work in any kind of healthcare area. Mm -hmm. And so we have had an internship for about 11 years now and we are kind of combining them together so that people can do in one year, one calendar year, the entire graduate program plus a thousand experiential learning hours. We used to call it internship, but they go, <laughs> they go to Memorial Hospital, they go to WIC clinics, they go to mm -hmm. offices, they get exposed to different to get areas, exposure okay. and to actually learn how to practice. Oh, okay, all right. And then you have to have the master's degree, right? So that's why you've combined this and worked it in, right? Right. right. Starting in January, you cannot take that. So you have to either go to a combined program like we have, or get a master's and then do an internship elsewhere but that's going to go away right. so we have we we have uh we are going to start this in the, the summer and students who have a degree from an accredited dietetics program they can start in june and we are currently accepting applications for our program mm -hmm. and uh, also for people who are considering you know, as freshmen, we have the program as well, so you can start at Bluffton and end at Bluffton in five years. Right, yeah, and, and students like to hear that, right? You gotta get, want to get out Absolutely. as soon as possible. And we found that w once they come to Bluffton, they want to stay there, mm -hmm. and, right, yeah. know, rather than go someplace else to do their experiential learning. Right, exactly. And, you know, explain a little bit more why it's such a growing field and, like, the different areas and the people that we might not realize are, you know, the registered dietitians That's and right. Right. That's right. We really, um, for example, anytime a person is critically ill and needs to be on a ventilator, such as during COVID, lots of people were on ventilators. Well, when you're on a ventilator, you cannot eat normally. So a registered dietitian is there. We usually have to feed them through a tube or through IV, but usually through a tube. Coming up with a formula, how much to give, how many calories, at what rate. So that's, it, it's in some ways very high tech on Certainly. some issues and mm -hmm. then very much uh, community minded, say in a WIC clinic where they're counseling women and, and children on, on proper eating and mm -hmm. those sorts of things. Well, the health of our world, the United States especially, I mean, you know, you had mentioned diabetes and heart disease and stuff. This is where dietitians yes. are needed. Yes, yes. People need guidance in, in how to how to eat and kind of continual guidance. It's not just a want. I mean, we all know what to Always. do, but you need that support. You need ideas. You need someone to help, you know, if you're stuck. What what do you need to do next? Mm -hmm. All right, and if you're interested in that kind of thing, start now because you're going to be starting up this wonderful new master's we workshop are. program. We so are, and now's yes. the time, right? And jobs are plentiful out there. They really are, are not having any problem finding jobs at all. That's awesome news. Well, Deb, thanks for coming today. Oh, you're welcome. All right, Thank don't go you. away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.